want to show you something. Get in there now. She'll drag me to the candle store and do this for 45 minutes. Smell it. Smell this one. Now this one. Smell it. Smell this one. 49 more to go. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell this one again. Now you've already smelled this one. Smell it again. Smell it. Now smell this one. Can you smell the difference? No, they're not the same. They're totally different. Smell it again. Smell it. Smell it. No, they're not. They're different. This is called morning beach. This is called evening beach. They're totally different. Oh, my God. Wait, do you smell this one? You're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe it. This is the one that Michelle was telling me about. It's not even out yet. Are you ready? Smell it. What does it remind you of? Does it remind you of something? Yes, it does. Do you remember the bed and breakfast that we stayed in seven years ago? Yes, you do. You remember when you first walked in, it had a big archway when you first walked in. When you stepped in, there were two steps. You stepped up, you stepped in. And there were four plants hanging. When you first walked in. Yes, when you first walked, there were four plants hanging. And then you stepped in, and there was a chair over to the left. And then you stepped down. When you first walked in. Then there was a piano. Remember the rug? Smell it. Doesn't it smell just like that place? Forty-five minutes of this. Forty-five minutes of my life gone. Forty-five minutes of smell it, smell it, smell it. After a while, it sounds like a bird caught in an oil slick. Smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it. The point of my exaggeration is to show you how crazy I'm becoming with the candle situation. Unfortunately for you, the story does not end there. When I come home, she doesn't have like one or two candles lit. She has them all lit. She can't make up her mind. To me, it smells like a fruit stand on fire. All the regular lights are out. Just candles flickering. Shadows. It's like coming home to a haunted castle. Without the nice furniture, of course. Sweetie, the parrot got out. Where are you? I'm over here. Where? I'm afraid. Come get me, precious. It's not you. I'll be back at sunrise with the priest, the rabbi, and the townspeople. Get the torches. She's insane. She likes to clean up too much. I like to sleep in, and I'm a little bit of a slob. She likes to wake up early and she starts cleaning immediately. Have you ever had anybody try to change the sheets while you're still sleeping? Come on, I wanted an early start today. We have company coming in two weeks. Let's go. What are you doing? I'm serious. You don't have to get out of bed. Just lift up. I'll pull out from underneath you. Stop it. Give me your pillowcase. Mm. I came home one night. It was very late. Had a couple of drinks. Had a little buzz on. I didn't want to wake her up. She was sound asleep in the other room. I had a craving. I'm not pregnant. I had a craving. I wanted peanut butter on toast. Making peanut butter on toast at 2 a.m. when you're trying not to wake somebody up and you're a little drunk is like a construction site. I didn't realize how drunk I was. I was a little bit off. I thought I had it together. I was a little bit off. There she was. She was tucked away. Where's she put the peanut butter? I know we have someone just bought five gallons at Costco. Oh, there it is, it's big.
listening to this hour is the knife dragging across the toast. For some reason, stainless steel and toasted dough, very loud. It sounds like the Third Reich. Sure enough, the light goes on in the other room. on the microwave oven to see my way around. All of a sudden, her only concern at this hour from the neat freak Nazi. One word. Crumbs. Did you hear what I said? Crumbs. Make sure you clean up your crumbs when you're done, please. No morning crumbs. Here's my response, which I'm practicing in my head right now. And I'm in my head, of course, when I was drunk, it sounded pretty articulate, but of course it comes out like this. What did you say? Oh, I can't understand a word you're saying. Are you drunk? Shut the fuck up. What? Want some beer bar on toast, baby? You cannot cover up for shut the fuck up. Once it's out there, it is out there to stay. You can't even try to blend it, fake it, with do you want some peanut butter on toast, baby? Do you want some shut the fuck up butter on toast, baby? Love you. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Have you seen the new bandages from Branson and Branson? Of course I haven't. They're invisible. Invisible bandages go with practically anything. But are they really invisible? Of course they are. It says so on the box.
because they work for the government. Anyway, my bus runs on corn liquor. Corn liquor is clean. So clean, cleaner than a salamander passing wind in the desert. How clean, Willie? Cleaner than two polar bears pissing on a snow cone. That's how clean. How clean, Willie? It's cleaner than the ten Indians pissing on a dead horse. How clean, Willie? Cleaner than the two peckered owl licking bark off a birch tree. Well, that's pretty clean, eh? That's clean. No, you know what's cleaner, boys? I'll tell you what's cleaner. Is a uh, is ten naked Girl Scouts all trying right, on sandals at a local shoe store. Oh, all right, huh? It's clean, man. We know yeah. the ethanol's cleaner than none for yeah. All right, that's great. Man. All right, hey, uh, listen, I've been Willie Nelson. I'm here uh, for corn liquor, and uh, listen, Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be gas guzzlers. That's right. And where are we going, Detroit? Yeah. Oh, we're all going to Detroit. All right, see you guys on. later. Here we go. Yeah.